Let's take a look at how to adjust the blast pressure on the dustless blaster. The first step, of course, is to connect your compressor and make sure that it's turned on. This is the inlet pressure gauge, and it measures the air pressure coming from the compressor. Whatever this reads will be the maximum amount of blast pressure that you can blast with, because that's all that the compressor is putting out. This is the pressure regulator, and as you might guess, it regulates the pressure going into the blast tank. This is the blast pressure gauge, and the reading on it will reflect the blast pressure. Now, it doesn't matter whether the blast tank is pressurized or not, you can adjust the blast pressure either way. So here's how to do it. Unlock the locking nut if necessary to allow you to turn the knob. Clockwise rotation will increase the pressure, while counterclockwise rotation will decrease the pressure. From the factory, the machines are generally set at a fully open position. So the blast pressure will be as high as your compressor can put out. If you're starting at a low pressure and you want to go higher, tighten the regulator with a clockwise rotation. You'll see the blast pressure gauge reading increase accordingly. When you get to the desired pressure, tighten the locking nuts so that it stays in place. If you're starting at a high pressure and you want to lower the pressure, you'll need to loosen the knob with a counterclockwise rotation. However, if the blast tank is already pressurized, it will retain that pressure until you release some air from it. So if you're wanting to lower the blast pressure, you'll need to have someone blast a bit in order to release some air. If the tank is not pressurized, this won't be an issue. Alternatively, you could crack open the blowdown valve a little bit to release some pressure that way. However, remember to keep your hands and feet away from the blowdown valve because it is possible for abrasives to come through. You may have to turn the knob quite a bit before noticing any change in pressure. This is normal. The higher the blast pressure, the more productivity you'll get. In fact, for every 1 PSI, you typically get 1.5% extra productivity. Although the higher blast pressure is more productive, it is a good idea to lower it sometimes, depending on what you're blasting. Steel ships can be blasted at the full 150 PSI, whereas fiberglass and softer substrates like thin sheet metal should be blasted at lower pressures. This chart shows pressure guidelines for the most common substrates. These numbers are just a guideline. Use your own discretion and experimentation when blasting. It's a good idea to adjust the pressure if you have a big job that requires a lower PSI. However, if you just have one little piece to do, you can accomplish basically the same thing by using a larger standoff distance. So don't feel pressured into adjusting the PSI for every single little piece. That's it, and if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call. Have a great day.